I picked this up to pull the codes off my truck. I had a check engine light, it turned out to be an easy fix that didn't cost me anything to repair, so this thing paid for itself the first time I used it. Hi everyone, I wanted to show you here my OBD2 scanner. This is the NT201 from Foxwell, and I've got the thing plugged into my OBD2 port down here on my truck. And your OBD2 port is going to be on any vehicle, 97 or newer, and it'll either be on the left side or the right side of your footwell here in your truck or car. And you plug it on in here and you can pull all the codes off of your computer. So what we're going to do now, this is the main menu when you plug it and it boots up. We're going to go in and pull those codes. So we're going to start that. It's going to take it a few minutes to scan. Now I picked this thing up because my truck was throwing a code. And anytime your truck or car throws a code, the first thing you say, think is this is going to cost me 60 bucks. And it's going to keep beeping while it's doing this, so sorry about that. But you you immediately think $60, because that's how much most shops are going to charge you anywhere from $60 to $100 to do a basic diagnostic on your car. And this is all they're going to do. They're going to plug this thing into your OBD2 port, and they're going to tell you what's wrong. And this thing does the same thing, and it actually costs you less than one trip to the shop to diagnose your car. So here it's going to ask us, do we want to erase the previously stored data? So we do. We're going to do a new test here and it's gonna bring up all of our results. Now, when you throw a check engine light, you're gonna throw a code, and that's the very first thing here is um, you're gonna be able to read codes. So we can jump in here and we have stored codes and pending codes. So pending codes would be a current code. Now, right now, you'll see there's no codes because I fixed the issue with my truck. And what's nice is sometimes the issues don't cost you anything um, to fix. In the case of my truck, it was actually a loose connector on my mass airflow sensor, and we uh, pulled it apart, cleaned it, put it back together, and everything was fine. And then we cleared the codes. And what's nice here is you can pull back out of here. You can jump down here and actually just come in here, and you can erase the codes. And then your check engine light will turn off. And then you'll know if you didn't fix the problem, the check engine light will come back on. Um, another pretty common one, you forget to put your gas cap on and you wind up with a vacuum system error. You can go in there and erase your code there. But this one has some more features. Some of the basic ones can just do that. This one also, you can pull live data, which is pretty neat. It scans your car and right now my truck is running. So when all this finishes scanning, you can record data, view data. So let's just pop open view data. And we can go complete data set, custom data sets if you just want to pull data from certain bits of information. Say you're trying to figure out why a cylinder is misfiring or something like that. And you can see here all the different measurements that are going on in the truck. And there are a lot of them. So you can come through here. You know, right down here you can get into like things like Spark Advance. And uh, all the other little features and things that are going on inside your truck you can check your, um, your ports all your different features inside the truck and log things you can also log them if you're driving down the road and you want to log information then you can view it later in that record data feature and you can play back your data um, another really really nice feature is this one it's the I am readiness if you live in a smog state what they do now is they just plug into your OBD2 port and they check the readiness of all the sensors on board your car so they're going to run this and they're going to look and see that all your things are up online. It'll say OK or NA if you don't have one of those sensors there. Now, if you have one of these where it hasn't come up online, you will instantly fail smog. So you can plug this into your car. You can have it scan your car. and You'll know before you drive down to the smog shop if you're going to pass or not. And that not only saves you the money of paying for a smog test that you might fail and have to retake, but it also is going to help save you time. You're not running down to the shop. You can figure out what's wrong ahead of time. So that's a really, really nice feature um, going on here. And actually, the last time I went to smog my truck, I went through that where I actually had to go back two separate times because I thought everything was good and it turned out one of these hadn't come up online yet because I just replaced the battery. So that, this would have saved me a ton of time back then. Now you can come, here's your oxygen sensors, your O2 sensors. So we can uh, pull those up and we can check all your different sensors to see how those are reading. So say your engine's not running quite right and you suspect it's one of your sensors, you can go through here and figure out which sensor it is and what's going on before you spend the money to replace them because those can be kind of pricey. There's also the uh, onboard monitor test where you can test all these different emission systems and these are also the things that smog is going to look for so again you can come through here and pre-check everything to make sure everything is working correctly before you bring it in for your smog test
and you can also pull vehicle information, all the module sets. You can change your units of measure depending upon where you are, and you can do all your setup. So let's jump back out to the main menu here. and look at some of the other features that this thing has. So this thing, while it's loading, um, let me flip this thing up onto its end. You can see down here, there is a USB port. And what that USB port is for is that just because you bought this thing, you know, five years go by, things change, vehicles change, it doesn't mean that you have lost all your information or that this thing is now outdated. You can jump down here into the setup. You jump into setup here. And in setup, you can change all the things like language and units of measure, and that's all nice. But I can turn off this annoying beep that's going on, and I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done filming this video. But you can also do the self-test, and then you can come all the way down here into update mode. And if you go into update mode, you can hook this thing, see right there, you can hook this thing to your computer and actually flash an update onto it. So if it's out of date, if it doesn't have your car, or there's new systems or sensors and whatnot, you can update it right from here. So all in all, this thing is cheaper than just bringing it in for one diagnostic. So it's a great, great tool to have in your garage. Um, so I really like this thing. I just keep it in the garage. I can scan my cars, scan friend cars, and it uh, saved me a lot of time and money.